thank you so much for tuning in you're just in time to catch us here on 3t tv thicker's number one online news channel where we are telling the thicker story as it is my name is Juliet Modani and today we are coming to you from Thika Town constituency. We are bringing you a new series. This is My City, My Town. In this series, we'll be exploring different cities, different towns in this great county of Kiambu. And today we have started with Thika Town constituency. And some pointers to note about Thika Town constituency is that it stretches from Karemeno in the west which borders Gatondo North, all down to Ngoliba. And we are going to visit all those places and show you the demarcations where Ngoliba starts and where Karemeno starts as well. It also borders with Wetaivie Estate, which is in Juja constituency. That is something to note. Wetaivie Estate is in Juja constituency. In the southern side, and in the northern side, we border Moranga County, at the Chania River. And we are also going to visit the Chania River, the Chania Bridge, where there is the border between Kiambu County and Moranga County as well. There are, there are some people who live in Moranga County and come to work at Kiambu County. So it is good for you, considering that we are in an election year, it is good for us all to note the demarcation. So in our first series of My City, My Town, we are touring township ward and as i had mentioned the ward borders gatondo north constituency at karemeno moranga county at chania river wetaivie in juja constituency hospital ward at thika stadium and kameno administratively it is home to part of municipality which is the division that is township and part of makongeni division that is Kianjao location. Some of the notable villages and estates in this township ward include Karifarifi, Goigua, Mortgage, Riverside, Kiadutu, and Athena, just to mention but a few. Notable institutions and landmarks are Mary Hill School, which we are going to visit. There's Madaraka School, there's the M-Pesa Foundation as well that we are going to, to visit. And also in this township ward we have Thika post office, Thika police and one side of Mount Kenya University is in township ward. That is something absolutely notable about these divisions. Kianjao primary school and Arena primary school are also in township ward. So, Biashara location is home to the Thika Town CBD. It plays host to almost all the major county and national government offices, which include the Thika West DCC offices, Thika Sub County offices, there's also the Thika Post Office, Thika Police Divisional Headquarters, and the Thika Main Prison, among many others. Other notable landmarks include Thika Stadium, Thika Main Bus Terminals, Christina Wangari Garden, the Thika Level 5 Hospital, Thika Technical Institute, Mount Kenya University, and for Mount Kenya University, it is the Alumni Plaza site that is located in Biashara location, not the whole university. And also the Kenya National Library Service. It is also home to several extra county schools such as Chania Boys High School, 
Chania Girls High School and Thika High School for the Blind. The main occupation here is commercial businesses and it is also a hub for many tertiary institutions. Some of the notable villages or estates in Biashara location include Section 9, Viewland Estates, Mortgage, Riverside, Cravers, Section 2, that is Bullies. So ladies and gentlemen, our first stop will be Karemeno that borders Gatondo North. And we are going to show you all the borders as we come down to Thika town itself. Let's, let's take the tour. So we are now at exit, exit 17 on the Fika Superhighway, popularly known as Jomoko. This is the entry to Karemeno Division where we have three locations, namely Goigua, Kariparifi and Karemeno. Goigua is in Karemeno Division and Karemeno Division has three locations, namely Goingwa where we are, then from here we will go to Karifarifi, 
and uh, at the farthest end is Karimenu. This is the Thika Mangu Road and as you can see it is under construction. Uh, it is being turned into a dual carriageway that will, you know, it, it will come a long way in helping the people who are traveling back and forth and ease traffic well at it. So we are heading to the border of Vika Town constituency and Gatondo North. That is where we are heading. Now we are still on the Thika Mangu Road. And uh, a point to note is that on the left is Ngoingwa sub sublocation. Then on the right is Chania sublocation. So right now we are at the border of Goingwa, which is where we have come from, and Karifarifi, which is where we are heading. And on my right, you can see Kisiwa Primary School, which demarcates the border between these two. We are now heading, getting into Karifarifi. Remember, we are heading to the farthest end, the border of Thika Town constituency and Gatundu North, and we are still on the Thika Mangu Road. We are now right at the heart of Karifarifi location and as you can see there, uh, there are various landmarks that is the Wasco and we are still along the Thika Mangu Road that is under construction and here we also see another landmark that is Braiban Imani International School, Braiban Schools right there on the left. Remember on the right we had seen Kisiwa that was the demarcation from Goingwa now to Karifarifi. You'll also see some land, some more landmarks on my left, namely Mpesa Academy. You'll also see Fika Girls Karifarifi, Karifarifi Secondary School and also Karifarifi Dispensary. We are now at the border of Karifarifi location and Karimeno location, right at Madaraka Primary School. So Madaraka Primary School is sort of the demarcation between these two locations. And we are now getting into Karimeno location, which stretches from Mary Hill Girls High School, which we are going to see in a few minutes, uh, to Kwaheri area at the border with Gatundu North constituency. It is another rural setup and the occupation here is mostly farming. Something notable is that uh, Karimeno location is sandwiched by three main rivers which are Karimeno and Chania River at the Moranga border and Como River at the Juja border.
people, ladies and gentlemen, we are now at the farthest end, that is the border between Fika and Gatundu North. And the most interesting bit is that on my right, <laughs> on my right is Fika and on my left is Gatondo North. We are in a place called Kwaheri. Another interesting bit is that this is still Township Ward. That is on my left. We are still in Township Ward. Remember, this place has vast plantations of coffee plantations and the biggest uh, activity here is farming, either small scale or large scale. From Kwaheri, which is the border between Thika and Gatundu North, we will be heading to the border between Kiambu County and Moranga County. That is the Blue Post side. Ladies and gentlemen, right now we are at exit 18 on the Thika Super Highway. This is the border of Kiambu County and Moranga County. And the demarcation here is, is the Chania Bridge and specifically the Chania River. This is, this is where the border between Kiambu County and Moranga, Moranga County is. Exit 18 is also where Blue Post is located, Blue Post Hotel is located, and it is also where the Chania Bridge is located. The Chania Bridge is the border, is the demarcation between Kiambu County and Moranga County, and this is where we have the Chania River. Remember, we are going to be taking you through so that we will let you know the borders, the demarcations between different counties. Stay tuned.
So, ladies and gentlemen, my city, my town. We are now at the border of Township Ward and Wetaivie that is in Juja constituency. At the background there, we can see Wetaivie, Wetaivie Estate and there's also the railway line at the far end there. Where I am standing, I'm in Township Ward that is in Pika constituency. Behind me is a railway line. Once you cross the railway line, you get to Wetaivie, which is in Juja constituency. You can see Ngoingwa Estate. Ngoingwa Estate is in Township Ward, that is in Thika constituency. That is on the right. Then on the left of the railway line, we have Tora, and that is in Juja constituency. Uh, there's a river that is the demarcation or cuts across uh, between Juja constituency and township ward, specifically between Tora and Goingwa, that is the Como River. That is where there is a demarcation between the two. But still, the railway line on the left is Tora Juja constituency, and on the right is Goingwa, that is in township ward in Pika constituency. The vast area of Kianjao location is basically taken up by Kianjutu Slam, which is one of the biggest slums in the country. It borders the Juja constituency at Wetaivie and Keganja location. Keganja location is still in Makongeni division. Some of the notable villages in Kianjao location include Kiandutu, Athena, and Mokeraware. Broadway High School is also found in Kianjao location.
So, ladies and gentlemen, we are still in Township Board. We are still in Township Board, and where we are at right now, exactly on the Fika Garissa Highway, across the road, I can see KVM and Jubilee Feeds is right behind me. So, this is the border between Township Ward, Kameno Ward, and Hospital Ward. So, across Fika Garissa Highway is KVM and KVM is in hospital ward. Behind that is Jubilee Feeds, which is in Kameno Ward. And towards Kiandutu, Kiandutu on the Fika Garissa Highway, we have Township Ward. So those are the three wards that cut across on the Fika Garissa Highway. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this maiden episode of My City, My Town. We have explored Fika today, Fika Township Ward specifically, we have explored it. I hope that you have been able to learn a thing or two. Kindly do not forget to subscribe to 3T TV and comment there below on the areas you would like us to visit and educate you more. My name is Juliet Madoni. Until next time, take care.